Hi, my name's Kevin. I'm just going to give you a short guide to what you need to start sort of fly fishing. We're here in Cuba and it's very hot, the sun's beaming down. First thing you need is kit to stop you being burned. Fat shirt, light, airy, dries very quickly. It's important to have a nice bright colour. A dark colour will really absorb the heat throughout the day. If you stand up in front of the boat all day or out on the flat with the dark colour, by the end of the morning you'll have had enough. Buff around the neck, very important because it stops your neck being burnt and you can pull it up over your head. Patch trousers, you can take the bottoms off um, and if it gets really hot you can pull them back on again. Then what you need Flats gloves. These are lightweight ones that will stop your hands being burned if you're really hot. Or you can get stripper gloves that I like to use when I'm tarpon fishing because they have good grip for stripping. Next important thing is a decent hat with a big peak. So when you put it on, it shades you and most importantly protects you when you're casting heavy flies. Then, glasses. A good pair of glasses. These are Costas. They're mirrored, which I like in the bright sunlight. They always pays to bring a spare set, just in case you lose or break them. And this is a darker set that I use when the conditions aren't quite so bright and it's, you do get an overcast day. On your feet, when I'm on the boat, I like to be barefooted because I like to feel if my foot's on the line. But you can use things like sneakers here. Um, but if you're using on the flats, it's important to have a set of flats boots and most importantly, a pair of flats socks that stop the sand chafing your feet. Um, and if you don't wear the socks, you will find within an hour your feet will be red raw. It's also important to have a pack mac because it can rain out here and it can rain very hard, in which case you need one of these and it can save you getting very wet. Suntan lotion. If you've got any spare bits that are going to be out in the sun, it's important to put some high factor on if you're out all day. I like to use the 50 on my feet and on the back of my knees, importantly, on my ears as well and on my nose and then I can use 30 elsewhere. And this new stuff, um, the spray on stuff, is uh, good to use uh, to top up throughout the day when you're fishing and you won't get your hands all dirty.